Hi, my name's Ellie Main, and I'm reporting for Austin Indie Media. We're here with Raj Patel, who's just done his talk on nutrition, gender, and food security in Africa. Um, a few very, very quick questions for you. Uh, what do you see as the problem to our current food system, and what is the solution? Capitalism is the problem, and uh, the solution is getting rid of it. That's something that, that has to happen both in terms of getting rid of it at the state level, but also uh, fighting back against its predations in terms of patriarchy. And that's, that's what I was talking about today, where if we're going to end uh, hunger, uh, we need to recognize that 60% of people going hungry are women or girls, and that's not an accident, that's that's kind of the way that capitalism is set up to offshore its reproductive labor and the systematic disempowerment of women and, and the higher rates of poverty among women means that there's going to be more hunger among women. Who benefits and who loses out from the current economic model surrounding the food system? Um, well, if, if you're a food system executive, you're doing very well, um, and so you know the pr profits in the, the big food companies are higher than they've ever been, but the rates of uh, type 2 diabetes in the United States, for example, one in three kids will develop type 2 diabetes, one in two kids of color. Uh, and today, children born in America will have shorter life expectancies than their parents. That, that doesn't seem to me like the population is winning from this, this modern food system. How do GMOs create poverty and malnutrition? Well, GMOs are part of monoculture, and I think monoculture is really what we need to be looking at. I mean, certainly the, the proprietary kind of capture of seed and seed genetics is, is, is a deep concern. Um, and GMOs are the pro product of pesticide companies, and pesticide companies thrive on monoculture. Let's think about monoculture for a second. Monoculture is the idea of turning fields into factories where uh, you output one crop and then that crop feeds into a, a commercial commodity system where uh, that crop then gets processed and ultra processed and comes up to us in you know, crappy food. Um, moving towards a polyculture that respects farmers' knowledge, that respects the diversity of crops that we need in order to be able to survive, that's a very different kind of model uh, of the way that food is produced and circulated in, a, in an economy. Um, and it seems to me that that's a vision for the future that's not about one corporation controlling everything, but about knowledge being distributed and shared uh, among all who would like it. And that's a very different model uh, and a very different, a much better world, it seems to me, to be in.